Are you listening? Welcome back to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. Today is Thursday, March 11th. And here are today's top stories from the world of gaming. First up today, we have a bunch of Google Stadia news to talk about, like a brand new article from GamingLife.com detailing the upcoming Google Stadia Play Crafting in Power Diversity Game Jam. Whew, that's a mouthful. The upcoming Game Jam will feature 40 developers who will work to make a brand new couch co-op video game with the potential of being added to the Stadia Makers program. Speaking Speaking of Stadia, the company announced two new games coming to the platform today, with Graffiti Games' upcoming title Blue Fire and Shrine 4 The Nightmare Prince both coming to Google Stadia. Bandai Namco has announced that Little Nightmares 2 sold more than 1 million units in under 30 days, which marks the first title in the company's history to achieve this in such a short time period. Xbox held a Bethesda Roundtable event today in which Phil Spencer finally Finally addressed all of the confusion surrounding exclusivity, in which Phil Spencer said, Obviously, I can't sit here and say every Bethesda game is exclusive, because we know that's not true. There's contractual obligations that we're going to see through, but if you're an Xbox customer, the thing I want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you that ship on platforms where Game Pass exists. And that's our goal, and that's why we're doing this. That's the root of this partnership that we're building, and the creative capability we'll be able to bring to the market for Xbox customers is going to be the best it's ever been for Xbox after we're done here. Speaking of Bethesda, it was also revealed today that 20 Bethesda games will be coming to Xbox Game Pass starting on March 12th. Cozy Grove, Farmit, and Fantasian all were announced as coming to Apple Arcade today. The Borderlands 3 Director Cut has been delayed until April 8th, we finally have a release date for the upcoming Immortals Phoenix Rising DLC Myths of the Eastern Realm, with the game's latest expansion releasing on March 25th. Square Enix has announced the first Digital Direct taking place on March 18th, in which the company is promising a first look at the newest Life is Strange video game. Well, if you weren't aware, Roblox went public yesterday, and the company received an overall valuation of $41. $1.9 billion! Yes, that's a billion with a B, and that is just insane! Obsidian Entertainment dropped a brand new trailer for the Outer Worlds DLC Murder on Aridinos, which will be releasing next week on March 17th. The Witcher 3 is now available through GeForce Now, and finally for today, the US Congress has proposed a brand new $94 billion bill, which would require internet providers to offer at least 100 megabit per second internet for all rural and urban customers, which is great news for the future of cloud gaming and gaming in general. Well, that wraps up today's top headlines from the world of gaming. If you want more daily gaming news in your life, make sure to support our channel by subscribing to the Nerf Report right here on YouTube. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.